morning, just about 10 miles from where Joe was. Police have not said they're connected. Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassbrook is live in Bushwick with what we know about this case. Lauren. Well, David and Sandra, we understand that the victim in this case is a 28-year-old man. He was riding the J train northbound this morning when police say a stranger walked up to him and stabbed him in the stomach. That victim got off the train here at Myrtle Avenue. The suspect, we understand, fled at the Flushing Avenue station. And lots of people in this area say that they saw a police presence running to this subway station. The victim, we understand, sustained a non-life-threatening injury, but police did shut down this station to commuters. They only reopened the entrances about 25 minutes ago. And we spoke to one commuter, Kaywana Williams, who told us that she saw some of what unfolded on the platform. I just saw a lot of commotion. I saw the police, like, they looked like they were pursuing somebody, but I don't know if the person got away or not, and then they just shut down the trains. So, but it's kind of scary to just be waiting for the train one second, minding your own business, and then, boom. Were you on the platform when that happened? Yeah. But I couldn't see clearly, you know, you don't, you never know what's really going on. You're like, oh, what's going on? Then you see two people, you know, tussling, getting into it, and then... Here's what we know about the suspect in this case. He's described as wearing a green jacket, black pants, and a face mask. Again, this stabbing happened at about 9.45 this morning, and we are just learning that the NYPD will be adding lots of officers to the subway system today. They are open to the possibility that the suspect in this case could be linked to the other stabbings that Joe just reported on. They're not ruling that out, but still no conclusive information. Uh, And this is based on the fact that the two suspects have similar descriptions. So commuters can expect to see a larger police presence in the subway system today.